Hi everyone. Welcome to Art 100 um, online learning for the summer session 2020. Uh, my name is Professor Frost Moreno. Um, you can call me Professor Moreno for short. And I'm really excited to meet you all uh, this semester virtually. And uh, this introduction video is going to be for the purpose of sharing with you some important um, things to know going into this first week. So let me just share my screen here and show you what I got for this little video. Um, first, we have the uh, welcome. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some things on Canvas. Um, I'm going to share with you a bit about the book and what's expected for the reading and um, also give you some tips on Zoom as well as introduce you to the first discussion for this week. So the first thing done, welcome. Um, you'll learn about me more as we go on this week. Um, I'll share some things with you uh, that I love about art, but also just things about me in general. Um, it's really hard to kind of sum up into one sentence, um, but I do have a, a profile that you can read about me on campus, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, so now we're on Canvas and each one of you has um, a profile. And so my profile is here. Um, you click on profile. And um, once you get onto my profile, you can see um, a little bit about how to contact me. Um, I prefer personal email, so here's my personal email here. You may also reach me um, on the Grossmont Canvas email or the Grossmont um, College email, whichever you prefer, um, but this is a direct line to me, so I um, wanted to provide that to you. Um, so here's my bio. You can um, take your time and read that as we go along, but um, we'll get to know each other more on our first Zoom class, which is on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Okay, um, a couple things in Canvas that I think are important for you to know are notifications. So once you click here on your account, um, there is a link to go to your notifications. Um, so think of it like social media, a notification is something that's sent to you to alert you of something. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can set your notification preferences on Canvas, but I think one of the, one of the most important things is um, this notify me right away check mark. Um, so wherever you click that check mark, it means that Canvas is going to send you an email right away once something has changed um, according to, to what you've checked it next to. Um, so something that I recommend that you check to notify you right away is um, course content. So anything that course content uh, changes, anything I upload, anything I post, you'll get an email sent to you right away. That's a really um, great one to have to send to you right away. Um, another one is announcement. I will post announcements with kind of up-to-date information, so that's a really good way to get that information sent to you directly. Another one I recommend is the conversations. Um, so whenever you get a conversation message, it's kind of like an email inbox on Canvas. So whenever I send you an inbox message, um, it'll get sent to your email right away. Make sure, by the way, that you're using an email that you check often. Uh, email is the lifeline for online learning. So make sure that you are in the habit of getting uh, your emails, checking your emails, even setting your notification preferences on your phone um, so that your emails are sent to you and just kind of feel out how much information you want to receive. Um, there's other ways to set your preferences. You can get a daily summary, you can get a weekly summary, or you can not send anything, um, which I don't recommend, but um, go ahead and set those how, how you prefer them. Okay, um, the next thing we have um, on our uh, agenda today is book and reading. Okay, so I wanted to show you where the $20 online access is. It's a, it was a little bit tricky to get to, so I'm going to just illustrate it here. Okay, so on my screen, um, we have the Gateways to Art book here, and what you would wanna do is scroll down, click on View All Options, and then it's going to ask you to sign in, register a code, or purchase access. Um, so click this green button here and go ahead and register uh, 
get yourself an account, right? Register with an email that is reliable and set a password. Um, that way you are going to be logged on to the publisher's website all semester, which is what you need to pass the class. So go ahead and sign in there. Once you do that, um, you'll see this yellow purchase options right here. So you'll wanna click on that button. And then it's the second option here, inquisitive for gateways to art. So inquisitive is um, a like online game tool where you'll get to answer questions about some of the content in the book. And these inquisitive quizzes are um, kind of participatory quizzes that are fun and engaging that I want you to do before we start class so that you're, you're um, in the know of the topics that we're going to be talking about. Uh, so inquisitive is required to pass the class. So definitely um, purchase that. If you have any issues or barriers with purchasing it, send me an email right away so that we can figure that out. If you want to get the inquisitive online access and a PDF version of the book, um, this is that $50 package here. Um, other people are renting a used book so that they can have it in person, but just be aware of, you know, the shipping times and uh, how much you're actually saving if you get a used book that you have to send back versus buying, buying the online um, book version. The ultimate um, purchase, I think, is the leaflet version, um, which I think is back on the other page. The leaflet version is the $90 uh, printed pages sent to you with the online access. So once you get that, you're good to go and you're able to access Inquisitive. So let me just show you it. Um, I have a hard time pronouncing it, um, so I just kind of say it how, how I want to. But um, so, for example, for the introduction chapter, you click on that. And it'll take you to an interactive quiz. Um, so going to complete this activity. Um, it's going to give you some details about how many questions there are. Um, I don't want you to pay attention to the points so much because um, all, all of these quizzes are given a certain point value in the class that don't necessarily correlate to these points. Um, but you do, of course, want to get as many points as possible so that your inquisitive um, grade overall is, is 100%. Um, I will talk more about this on Tuesday, but I just don't want you to get caught up in these 100 points, 800 points, all of that. Um, so you can start answering questions here. And just go ahead and read the question and um, you know answer it. And I want you to have fun with it. It's kind of like a game show. Um, it's low stakes, so you can um, keep working on the quiz until you get the grade that you want. Um, and a lot of the times uh, the, the questions have to do with typing things in or, um, I didn't read the question, <laughs> that's why I got it wrong, uh, typing things in or moving things around. Um, it's a very interactive thing. So just kind of play with it, treat it like a game, but also it's going to inform you of, of some of the artwork that's talked about in the chapter and some of the key concepts. Um, so again, we'll go over more of this um, on Tuesday in Tuesday's class. Okay, so um, we are going to be spending a lot of time on uh, Zoom and Zoom uh, class is a great opportunity for us to get to know each other one-on-one, -on -one. Um, but it is one of those things that you use better when you're more familiar with it. Um, so there are a few things in Zoom that I want you to familiarize yourself with. Um, one is reactions. I really like the reactions tool. You can uh, clap at something that was said, showing approval. Um, another thing you can do is do a thumbs up. Thumbs up is really good for for showing agreement um, that you agree with something. Um, another aspect of this is the chat box. So the chat box is a really great place to ask questions, especially while I'm talking. Um, it's also where I'm going to take attendance. So the chat box chat saves every time that we're on Zoom. And so I will get to go back and see kind of who was in, um, in the Zoom class by you typing your name in the chat box. Um, Let's see, another one that I like is to raise your hand. So to raise your hand, uh, I believe you click on participants um, down, down at the toolbar there. Um, participants, and then there'll be an option for raise my hand. 
And once I see that you've raised your hand, um, that's when I'll be able to call on you. Um, you can also turn on your video and actually raise your hand and I will see you. Um, but this button is, is kind of nice just so I can look at the list and see who, who has raised their hand and who hasn't. Um, you can show your video or not show your video depending on your situation at home. Um, and you will be muted until I unmute you or until you unmute yourself. Um, but feel free to speak up in class. I am really missing teaching online or teaching in person. So um, Zoom class is a way for me to connect one-on-one um, -on -one with you all and create community. So definitely let's use that to our advantage and, and get to know each other um, this semester. Okay, so that's what I have for you today. Um, in this short introduction video, we'll be going over more, uh, more strategies for how to do well in this class and more particulars of what's required, but I just kind of wanted to show you uh, the basics. Oh, um, as you know, you're in a module right now. So let me just go ahead and show you the module real quick so that you can be familiar with that. So this week, um, let's see here. The modules are to be done from top to bottom. And it's really important that you slow down and you do, do those in order from, they're in numbered order. So do them, you know, um, as if you would be counting up, right? One, two, three, four. Um, complete them in that way. Um, okay, here. Okay, so for example, you'll start with um, 0 0.1, welcome to R100, and now you're on 0 0.2, meet your instructor, that's me. Um, and then you just wanna keep going down the list and really reading each instruction and completing um, the assignment or the, or the discussion um, as time goes on. This week, the graded discussion is right here, introductions, and this is where you'll type in your introduction and so we can start to get to know each other better. Um, don't forget to reply to at least one other student to receive your full five points for this um, graded discussion. Okay, y'all, that's what I have. Um, I'll see you on Tuesday and always send me a message if you have questions or go to the discussion forum um, to write a question in the Q&A forum. All right, have a good day.